welcome to this vlog, you guys. Comfy cozy, my little grow fit, and starting off the vlog here in the evening. And I'm feeling very tired <laughs> from the day. A long day. Open this up. My last vlog. And I've been liking it. Is my water really cold? I love that it hasn't been like leaking. Like it's not as leaky, spilly out of the top as like a Stanley. And this is so fun. You can like bite the little rubber top. All right. You know when your hair being down is just like, ugh. That's how I feel right now. So, this out of the way. And I figured I omitted some unboxing for my last vlog since I didn't want it to be excessive. Uh, but we still have more packages to open, so I thought we could just do that like right here now. Because you're like, it's just as much unboxing. I know, but it's spread over two videos, so I thought maybe it's better. <laughs> What is it look? Can you tell me does it look all right? My hair is really mad at me right now. Can you take what you know? There's so much breakage in the front from the pony. Like literally it's like this long and my hair has like all sorts of breakage from a pony all day every day. And he would tell me, use your claw clip, which I do do that. But you know, sometimes you just want it. And a pony. Okay. I'm <laughs> being boring. Let's jump right in, shall we? We shall. Letting this up into two vlogs while I'm home since my last one is getting so long and I feel like I have so much to do and show and stuff. So yeah, this is still like the packages I got while I've been gone. Yeah, okay, here we go. I can link all these for you guys down below in the description. I am so excited for this swimsuit. These are all just a box from Revolve. And I ordered the cutest stuff course order it for st lucia i'm like is it gonna come in time no so that's what this was for but i'm sure i'll go somewhere warm maybe one more time this winter and if not keep caught in the summer it's literally the cutest bathing suit this is just giving me barbie vibes i'm so excited to wear that you could tell i was shopping for warm weather this cute little black tank top with white trim and like a little tie then we got another kini this is like a orangey coral kind of sparkly material Ooh, this is looking small i should not have gotten a small i feel like sometimes they just run big and i just hate when they look like saggy on my butt or something you know this is looking kind of small hopefully this will work the top looks good yeah little ties at the top and we've just got a plain white ribbed tank top. Nice little basic. I also got it in black. Literally the same exact one, but in black. Okay, I got this blue a nine thing button down. I always want to say Annie Bing. It's not Annie. It's a nine, anine thing button down. And I just envisioned this like sleeves scrunched up. It's definitely like an oversized fit, unbuttoned, thrown over like a bathing suit, or just kind of like dressing it down casual. This is so cute. Just a silky little tank top cropped, like ties in the middle. Okay, also right now I'm realizing, sorry, I'm not even doing a try on. I just was all excited and wanted to rip it all open and show you. Got this like periwinkle strapless dress that I thought would be so good for weddings this summer. I feel like I've seen so many people wear this dress at weddings. Okay, then I got these jeans from Girlfriend Denim and they have little slits on the bottom as you can see and I just love that look my sister has there I'm trying to show you a pair that looks just like these from Abercrombie that I love they look so good on her so I thought I would try these out this is getting so long okay here we are this is my most worn sweater of all time it's looking a little dark but it's a black sweater and oh there we go you can see the detailing is just like a ribbed really really nice quality sweater it's free people it's their easy street crop i believe i love that i know the style name that's how much i love this sweater i have it in the full length version and i wear it literally every day it's definitely my most worn piece ever just because i can dress it up dress it down especially like we're on the road a ton with Max's hockey like I just bring basics and it's like my most favorite so since I wear the long one so much I was like I might as well grab the cropped one for like high-waisted jeans and stuff yeah I just love this sweater it's so good I also have the cropped one in like a hot pink and I also have the long one in like a gray a white it's just like the best sweater this is so fun this one came on a hanger last but not least I got this leather blazer that like cinches in the middle buttons down it's actually Steve Madden it just caught my eye and I thought it would be so cute 
cute for hockey games. All right. Then this brand reached out. Keep the sea well, long. The brand is Long Wharf. And I just thought their website and all their sweaters looked so good. It really gave me like coastal northeast vibes. Very Cape Cod. Oh my gosh, Max is gonna love it so I can already tell. It's like a gray men's crew neck sweater. And he's so picky about if things are like comfy or not, if he'll wear them. And this feels so comfy and like not too heavy of a sweater. He doesn't like when they're like itchy or too heavy and then you're hot. This is like a really nice one. Ooh, for me. This is gonna be so good. I just got this blue and white striped cardigan. I really love this. This is so like preppy. It honestly reminds me a lot of my Jenny Kane one though that I wear a ton in the summer. That's like the opposite. It's just like cream with navy blue stripes or black stripes. I think navy blue stripes. And I just like throw it over like a white dress or whatever. So this is going to be so good. Okay. Lastly, I don't know if I can show. So I don't think I'm good at it because I don't want to spoil anything. I'm so excited. You guys know it's in here. Well, you don't. So I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to open them off camera. I already kind of but I don't want to show just in case these are actually bridesmaid shoes for Sydney Anna's wedding and I'm so excited sorry this is like so mean I'm literally opening them right next to the camera they're so cute they go with our dresses and I don't know if she's like shared what color she's gonna do or design style stuff like that so I want to keep that up to her and not <laughs> steal her thunder and be like look at you know so stay tuned and I'm so happy they came in. I think my dress is coming so soon. So I can't wait to like try it all on together. How fun. Okay, that concludes the unboxing and in a little bit I might sit down for a second, but we gotta start dinner soon because it's already six o'clock. Where did the day go? That's what I feel every day. But I actually did so much today. But it's only six o'clock and time to cook dinner. So I'll be back momentarily. Okay, I'm ready to cook my dinner now. I am so hungry and like sleepy, I was saying. So luckily this is gonna be quick and easy. Thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm just making this pasta. This is gonna be so good. I actually don't think I've had this exact recipe before. I know I've had chicken sausage pastas of theirs, which are always my favorite. Their chicken sausage is so good. But I don't think I've had it like with red sauce like this and the cook time is only 30 minutes it's gonna be so nice so I'm just gonna grab that you guys know I have had a HelloFresh subscription for years and years and years now. It is so convenient. It's especially nice when Max and I are both here for dinners, but I'm so happy that me, like a week ago, was thinking of future me in this moment because I was like, I know I'm coming back on this date, and I literally had it show up perfect timing yesterday when I got back because I knew I was going to be craving like home-cooked food, and I was not going to have time to go to the grocery store and stress about recipes and stuff. So I'm so happy that I thought of my because I want nothing more than home cooked food since I've been traveling around willy nilly and I get so like fed up of eating out you know what I mean it just feels better to have a home cooked meal so yeah whether you are trying to stress less about your meals like I am this year or eat better save money HelloFresh does all of that comes with pre-portioned ingredients so less stress for you, less prep, less food waste, we all know. And also, if you guys didn't know, if you haven't tried HelloFresh before, you totally should because I've talked about it for a million years, but they actually started having breakfast options as an add-on. So basically, if you guys haven't tried them, they're so good. Wait, I actually wanna show you because I go flying through them, especially the waffles. Yeah, they're spinach and feta egg bites, yum, so good. And then also these little Belgian waffles. I like eat these as dessert sometimes. They're so good. But as I was saying, if you haven't tried HelloFresh before, I know they actually have a limited time offer. If you use my code GGYT free, you will get a free breakfast item in each box for the rest of your life. Free breakfast for life. Ah. <laughs> While your subscription is active, if you use my code GGYT free at HelloFresh.com, you will get a free breakfast item in each box. So definitely recommend. I'll have them linked down below. And let's get cooking.
Oh my gosh, you guys, look at her. Look at how good this pasta looks. I am so excited right now. I've been like dying for a vegetable, <laughs> the zucchini. So good, I just kept eating it as I was cooking. And the chicken sauce, the tomatoes, of course, it covered this thing in Parmesan. Hair up means business when you're about to eat. Me, my sister, our cousin Mandy, our aunt, like everyone in our family like puts their hair up to eat. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's go time. Mm -hmm. So excited. Okay, I already tried the zucchini, but let's try like a bite with the pasta and the chicken sausage. It's like steaming. Mmm. -hmm. You can't go wrong. I just feel like their meals are so like simple but yummy flavors, so like you can't not like them. I'm learning, it's all about the seasoning. Like all the yummy seasoning that you put on it tastes so good, but I just like don't know how to do that on my own without a recipe, you know? Like I would not know what spices to put on what I feel like. Mm, okay, I'm gonna eat my dinner. I'll spare you guys all the eating. <laughs> um, in a little bit, I'm gonna put on Max's hockey game. They play the Hurricanes tonight. Hurricanes, the Canes, the Hurricanes. North Carolina, Canes. I think Kate's a show for kids. Yeah, and so I'll um, show you when I do that. I'm surprised you didn't come sooner. Hello, you always come running on there's food, don't you? Okay, thanks for having dinner with me and keeping me company. Brody, oh, I've been calling him and he's chewing his bone down there. Not hanging with me, but as you can see, later I got the game on. Or I should have said, as you could hear, now you can see. Not looking too hot, zero three so far. Morning. It's afternoon, I slept in so much. I like needed it, you probably can hear it in my voice, but I feel like a cold is coming on and I'm doing everything I can to avoid that. I'm like, no, 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 there is travel plans happening, a lot going on, like I need my health right now. Look at this lineup right here. <laughs> I just had to show you guys. Okay, my body armor that I started yesterday. Still going with this in the electrolytes. I think I already did things and I'm forgetting to show too. Got my greens powder drink. Which, by the way, this is the first time I'm trying the Bloom Greens and Superfoods, the Strawberry Kiwi. Was no one going to tell me this tastes so good? I feel like I've always seen this <clears throat> on TikTok, and I've never tried it. I've always just done the Athletic Greens, which I like. That one just has a more, like, natural pineapple green taste, and this, like, literally tastes kind of sweet and good, but it kind of scares me. I'm like, why is it? So sweet tasting. I guess there's stevia extract. I think that's like sweetness. Anyway, it's kind of nice because I am always used to it just tasting like that. Like I've never tried anything but athletic green. So I'm liking this. Okay. Oh, this was literally what I showed you last night. I have my HelloFresh little egg bites. They've just been like cooling off from the microwave. Let's give these a try. Mmm. So pretty hot. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with feta. I literally made feta pesto eggs yesterday. Mmm. Okay. Got that going on. A ton of water. Gonna do some vitamin C. The lineup. I feel like I did some other wellness things this morning right when I woke up. Why can't I remember? What did I take? Oh, I did a Zycam. That's what I'm thinking of. Hopefully all these things work together. And it's not bad that I'm doing like so much. Okay. And then, oh, well, that's just my neutral. Has nothing to do with wellness, I suppose. Well, wellness, health of my hair. You guys know I've been on my neutral journey. I have not missed a day in months, and my hair is thanking me for it. I just shared recently on Instagram my like hair health update. I usually do like two at a time. Whew, okay, that's what we got going on. <laughs> Cheers, good morning. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like a million bucks today. Half of it is mindset, positive affirmations. You're in peak health, Gretchen. You got this. <laughs> it's later. I'm feeling a lot better. Thank goodness. I feel like all the things really are helping. And I just want to chat for a second because I'm feeling so like overwhelmed and kind of stressed. And I just feel like we're having wedding planning struggles. So I guess I just wanted to talk about it with someone and hopefully it like works itself out. But I think I mentioned earlier in this vlog, maybe it was the last vlog, how everything is so up in the air always with hockey season. But it's like been so stressful 
as well because end of November, early December, when we first started reaching out to the venues we want to look at here on the Cape, we were planning for not next week, but the following week since that is the AHL American League All-Star break. And Max was on the comments at the time. And then he got called up recently and has been up for like, I don't know, maybe a month now. So this whole time I've been like, uh-oh, they are All-Star break. It's not the same dates. It's like the week before. So next week and we've had our dates and we're going back and forth with venues and have the dates for the following week and then we're like uh oh do we have to move it to the previous week but we also won't know until like uh the last day of nhl games after max is playing like if they're gonna keep him on the nhl roster and then he could take the nhl break or if he would get sent down and go on the ahl team play that week and then have the following week break i don't know so it's so hard to coordinate with the venues give them a heads up either way or, like really struggling with the planning of that and max is like just told me recently i'm like i'm not even going there i'm that he's like i just want to let you know like it's probably a real possibility that you get sent down plan you to go get called back up right after and then he would have no break and i'm like i'm not gonna be looking at venues by myself like i do not want to do that do we book a venue without even seeing it like oh i don't know so i just yeah that's basically where we're at <laughs> like everything just needs to work out how it's supposed to and i remember two seasons ago in philly this was the exact same thing we had no plans because we knew that we shouldn't make plans and he'd gone called up and we're like is he taking this nhl break is he gonna get sent down and we're gonna have the american league break we're like waiting 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 and then like the last game of the day they're like okay you're free to go you're on break and he's like okay so i'm not getting sent down so i can take the nhl break like it is always chaos and it makes it so hard to plan and i think max was like emailing the venues just being like this is a situation we might need the week before so is that a possibility but also like don't get rid of our appointments on the following week like just in case like we'll let you know asap i'm like we literally are gonna be like driving to the cape monday and being like hi we're coming like today make room for us so it's just like such a hard situation <laughs> anyone i mean it's so specific but has boyfriend husband fiance that plays hockey or baseball or I don't know basketball football then you know like the chaos and it's just like such a struggle in season to make any plans ever so normally don't but then things like planning a wedding it's like okay we like have to do that we have to like get started especially venue and a date the cape cod in the summer it's always so booked out and so it's just been like lately stressful once we have our venue will be good i just need to not worry about it it's like out of my hands and out of my control and it's all gonna work out putting it to the universe but that's kind of like the current wedding planning struggle i'm scared that this is only the beginning because i feel like <laughs> there's all these things that come up along the way hopefully we're getting a good head start kind of because we're like a year and a half out pretty much but that's also like not even that much time like the fact that we're like oh we're getting married next year well, at least we think if we get this venue date all squared away that seems so soon so yeah that's kind of that it's like bringing me down i need to not be that like, right max was like oh just you know there's like a very real possibility i could not have a break and i'm like wait but that's always been our plan to look at venues over the break because if we wait for the summer to look it's going to definitely be too late there's not going to be any availability probably to get married summer 2026 oh my gosh yeah so that's that sorry i just wanted to end this off with like an update on wedding planning it's kind of a struggle i'll keep you guys updated putting into the universe it's all gonna be good it's all gonna work out how it's supposed to i guess by the time this is up you'll see i'm the cape by myself or <laughs> or whatever happens i don't even know hopefully we're both here looking together it's gonna be great so yes okay this is getting so long now i just want to end this off here that's the situation just an update love you guys thank you so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye